Howdy guys, welcome to part 5 of my Red Dead Revolver LP. So, the next level we're doing here is... <laughs> we have those gringos exactly where we want them. Generalissimo, you're not planning to take on the entire Yankee army. You don't expect me to answer a stupid question like that. Prepare the artillery! Alright folks, the character we're playing as right now is General Diego, who's a former Mexican general from the uh, Mexican-American War, but, <clears throat> but he's part of, the, right now he's the founder of the Renegade, the Renegade Army of Mexico. Alright, for this mission, this first part's nothing special, you just take out a you just take out a certain number, certain number of U.S. soldiers, as you can see here. Now we're up to the next part here. You need to weaken the enemy's cannon artillery. Command your cannons to fire by using the flare, your flare rifle. All right. All right for this. So for this part, <clears throat> Diego's special ability is his flare, which as you'll see here, see the <clears throat> see your your friendly cans on the left side while the enemy cans is on the right side, and to <clears throat> and to activate your flare, you just press the you press on you press the, the right D pad, I mean right the right analog stick rather. And you can, yep. And watch out for cannon fire as well. And for a certain number of can, if you after you've taken out a certain number of enemy cannons, enemies will come in. Just see here. If you're running low on health, you can take out some enemies which ha which holds medicine, which will reveal your health. Yeah, nothing to say say about this level. And watch out, watch out for cannon fire. Alright, we're up to the last part. So for this part, so for this part, you gotta protect these two get these two guys, cause we're <clears throat> cause they're sending up some they're sending up some dynamite to blow up the bridge where the U.S. where U.S. troops are crossing over. So we gotta defend these two guys, these two guys for uh, <clears throat> until they can get all the dynamite all set up. So so yeah.
All right, that's all. That's all she wrote. folks that was the that was the level called the traitor all right let's continue on this time as red again all right we got a new thurible the fire bottles This is Sunset Canyon, is what it's called. This first part, this first part's not too special. <clears throat> as you can see, as you can see here, you, can t you don't have to be stealthy for this one. You just take out a few, take out a few guys. One of them's going to be on a horse, as you'll see, as you'll see right here. Yep, this guy right here. So take him out. And to get on the horse, you, but <clears throat> like in Range War, you go next, you go next to a bull or a horse. You hold, you hold X, and you can get on a. For this part, you can either go next to ch next to the church, or there we go, and trigger a boss fight. And it's the stagecoach, the one that Sheriff Barlett told us about because. <clears throat> If you guys haven't watched the last cutscene in the traitor, the guy with the raccoon hat was was Governor Griffin. 
AKA Nate, AKA Nate Harlow's friend. And so he betrayed, and so he betrayed Nate in order to save his own skin from General Diego and Colonel Darren. Damn. This fight can be, this boss fight can be a little tough because <clears throat> has a machine. Because it has the Gatling gun on the back. And there's gonna be some guys coming in the sides. So my. So my. My best bet is, <clears throat> is try to avoid the gun. Try to avoid the shots from the Gatling gun and whatnot. Take out, take out the guys from the sides as much as you can. Or you can go after the driver itself. But, but yeah. So you can see it's on fire right now. We're gonna go, go next. We're gonna go in front of it. Use our dead eye, and it's down. Oh shit. I want them alive. I have questions for this one. Take him to the gold mine. Hmm. hmm. Wonder who's that fellow pe peeking out in the canyon. So that's so that's Sunset Canyon. Pretty easy, pretty easy level. <clears throat> All right. Shadow Wolf. <laughs> Epic. My father's. I have news. What is it, Shadow Wolf? Cousin Red is alive. I saw the devil Diego taken prisoner to the mines. You must help him then. Go, Shadow Wolf, but beware of the ghost devil. All right. All right, folks. Get to play as Shadow Wolf, Red's, co Red's native cousin. For this first part, it's a... For this part, for this part it's a stick. Bit of a stealthy, like stealthy pot level. You don't have to, like I said in the last mission, you don't have to be, you don't have to be stealthy in this, in this level. Here we got some new enemies, pickaxe, pickaxe dudes. Pickaxe dudes. What those guys would do, <clears throat> if you get close to them, they'll hit you with their pickaxe. Take it, take a bit of health off, but, but it's no biggie. If you go over here, there's a chest right there. You can get it. You can get the faith rifle, <laughs> just like just like Annie Stokes has back in a Range War. My <clears throat> my best strategy is to aim him for the is to aim him from the head. As you see, as you, as you saw. And Shadow Wolf's special special ability <clears throat> is he'll use flame arrows, as you'll see right here. 
sets enemies on fire for, for a brief period. Brief period of time. Don't get near don't get near them when they're on fire as well. You can also use the rifle as well if you want. <laughs> Here's what I don't get. Which I kinda don't get. They're on fire and they're on wa but they're on water. They could, the guys could have just laid on the water to put out the fire, but, but oh well, it's video game logic for you. <laughs> these guys, these guys we're fighting right now is the Renegade Army, basically. <clears throat> like I said, led by General Diego, was the founder of the Renegade Army, which basically. <laughs> Basically, former so, former Mexican soldiers from the Mexican-American War, from the 18 from the 1840 like 1830s to 40, from the 1830s. All right. All right, time for the boss. Meet Grizzly. Yep, this guy right here. This guy, <clears throat> this boss was from the Black Elk Tribe. It was basically, basically the <clears throat> kind of the enemies of the red of the Red Elk Tribe, which is Shat, which is Shadow Wolf's, Shadow Wolf's tribe. Anyway, this boss this boss is pretty this boss is pretty simple. All he does all he does he'll make a few jump he'll make a few jump a few jumps on these to on these to on these totem poles and whatnot. And after and after the last jump, he'll pull out his knife to he'll pull out his knife to throw it at you. And when he's and when he's in that <clears throat> and when he's doing so, you just pull out your bow or your rifle or your knife to <clears throat> To shoot, to shoot him, or use your, or use your special ability as well. Now, don't get close to him. You, but ain't. Anyway, well, he didn't do. He didn't do that move though. <clears throat> If he gets close to you when he's when he's still running on the when he's still running around, he'll claw you and he'll give you a bit of a, and give you a po bit of a poison a slow a slow effect, kind of like kind of like Professor Perry in a way. <laughs> but if you know what you're doing, this guy's pretty much a joke. Just wait, <clears throat> just wait until he does a few jumps. When that last jump comes, you just <laughs> when he pulls out his knife, you just shoot him, and he's he's done. He, that's all he wrote. That's Grizzly for you. Bear Mountain.
All right, folks. In part six, we're gonna in part six we're gonna save Red Harlow and his when he was captured by General Diego or Colonel Darren for that matter. But <clears throat> that's all, folks. Toodles.